from the outset, this coronavirus has been compared with flu. So let's see how that works. First of all, the coronavirus appears to be deadlier. US authorities list flu's mortality rate at 0.1%. The WHO says the mortality rate amongst known cases of the coronavirus is 3.4%. On the face of it, more than 30 times more deadly. But hold on, many, many cases of coronavirus are going undetected. In fact, the mortality rate may be a lot closer to the flu. Here's Professor Mark Lipsic of Harvard University. Uh, I liken it a bit to a, a dark room where, you, where there are uh, people sitting in rows who you can't see. And as the lights begin to go up, you think, oh, some people walked into the room. But in fact, those people have been there for a while. But even if the coronavirus mortality rate does drop as far as 0.1%, that's still potentially very serious. The WHO estimates that every year the flu kills between 290,000 and 650,000 people. So if millions of people contract the coronavirus, the death toll could still run into the hundreds of thousands. Next, there's the speed at which the coronavirus is spreading. Here's one U.S. vaccine scientist. You know, what, one of the things we've learned, this virus is so highly transmissible that you can be caught off guard pretty quickly. And as, as a consequence, things mm. can move quickly, so you have to watch out. But the WHO has said that while the spread of coronavirus is concerning, it's not as contagious as the flu. Next, how do the symptoms of flu and coronavirus compare? Well, they're similar. Coronavirus, we know, often starts with a high fever. It can then be followed by a cough. It can also lead to a shortness of breath. Some patients require hospital treatment. Let's see the experience of one woman in Singapore. When I was going through the, the critical stage, um, one of the things that I encountered was really breathing. Um, it, it felt um, my lungs were going in overdrive. They were really making an effort. You know, it's not like normal days, right? When we don't even, we're not even conscious of how we breathe. It was just so laborious trying to get from my bed to the bathroom, which was like, I don't know, um, five meters away, just walking to the bathroom, and it was, it was just challenging. Now, like Julie, the majority of people who've had the coronavirus have recovered, but like flu, this coronavirus can lead to issues such as pneumonia and severe acute respiratory syndrome, and they in turn can lead to multiple organ failure and in some cases death. And as with flu, those over 70 years old and with pre-existing respiratory conditions are more vulnerable all of which makes these two diseases sound very familiar. But here's the WHO on why this coronavirus is something different. We can't treat COVID-19 exactly the same way we treat flu. COVID-19 is a new virus to which no one has immunity. That means more people are susceptible to infection and some will suffer severe disease. So coronavirus is possibly more deadly, possibly less contagious than flu, but there's a huge caveat here. Scientists have studied flu for centuries. They're only now starting to study this coronavirus. Also, remember, flu isn't constant. Sometimes it's much deadlier than normal. For example, go back to 1918 and the Spanish flu outbreak, which killed 50 million people. So in short, while I'm doing my best, comparing these two is tricky. My colleague Lauren Moss can explain more. Well, this is really what everyone wants to know, but the first important thing to point out is that seasonal flu and coronavirus are not directly comparable. Coronavirus is a brand new pathogen, there is no vaccine and people don't have any kind of immunity to it yet. More cases are emerging every day and health experts are working around the clock to try and respond to what more is being discovered about the virus and how it behaves. Now, scientists are working to find out more about it on a daily basis, but probably realistically, we're looking to the middle half of next year before a vaccine is readily available. Animal tests are being carried out now, but then we've got to get to the stage of human trials. And then there is the big hurdle of getting over mass producing it. Everyone's being told that the most important thing that we can do to curb the spread of coronavirus in the UK and beyond is to make sure we wash our hands thoroughly several times a day with hot water and soap for 20 seconds.